Hi everyone, here is a video tutorial on how I made my EA Battlefront 2 Heavy Clone Trooper. The build just came from a Bandai Clone Trooper kit, and all the accessories you see I either sculpted or created using material. So let's start off with the backpack. The backpack I'm very grateful for for IC model kits and sculpts for allowing a free template of the backpack to be posted on his Google Plus account. I printed out the template on paper and drew it out and then I cut it out with six millimeter foam. You can buy that at any hobby shop. And then from there I glued the pieces together and once I did that, I painted it white because the clones have everything white. And I attached some fabric on top for the little uh, flap on top. And I used more foam to make the straps, as you can see right there. And I made two slits in the backpack so that I could loosen and tighten the backpack as needed to fit the trooper's back. For the pauldron and the shoulder strap, I also used six millimeter foam, and I just made a line around the trooper to make a perfect fit around his waist. Let's get that out of the way here. Right here. And for the impact grenades, I just used clay and sculpted basic cylinders and gave them a dry brush of white and gray to give it a used look. And for a little shoulder bag, I just used, I just used some material and sewed the edges to give the illusion that it's a real bag. And for these little things on the side, to sculpt it out with clay, use six millimeter foam to wrap around the arms. Now the hardest part was the visor. For the visor, I used the 6mm foam and I got the exact shape of the trooper's head. And then from there, I covered the foam in clay and then I baked that. And the, the, the foam shrunk and it fell out of the sculpt, but the sculpt was left the way it was, so it fit perfectly on the trooper's head. And then the little side parts, I just sculpted it out of clay and glued it on there. And same with the top. Now for the heavy class in Battlefront 2, they have a personal shield that can be deployed. For the personal shield, what I did was I got a Pringles can actually and I cut off the lid, I cut the little neck part that hugs the can to give me a nice clean circle and from there I used a stained glass soft blue paint, I bought that at the hobby shop as well and you just spray it on, I gave it two layers and it makes it a translucent blue color and I just cut a small hole in the side so it can fit on the DC-15. And another accessory I made for the Heavy Trooper is their sentry gun, which is another weapon that they have in Battlefront 2. To make this weapon, what I did was I got an extra DC-15, and I wrapped it in foil, and I sculpted the basic shape of the gun in clay, and then I baked it, and when it came out, I used a grinding tool for a Dremel and I grinded out the parts where it gets smaller and from there I glued on pieces of plastic from the kits for the rotaries and for the barrels. And for the comma, which is the little skirt or kilt as you would call it, I just got an old piece of cloth and I just put it beneath the belt and when I built the kit it got stuck right there 
and then I used glue just to keep it down. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or you're interested in a commission piece, message me and let me know. Thank you.